Hello YouTube. Um, I've been trying to do this video for ages, but I just I lost my uh, main soldering iron. <laughs> now these are my two soldering irons. The blue one is my mains one. I think it's a 30 watt cheap one from Maplins. This is my 12 volt 40 watt one from eBay. Uh, 12 volt. The only problem is it uses these horrible clips. Okay, they're a good size and it served me well, but I don't want that anymore. I want something different. So, try not to burn myself on the soldering iron. I want to put uh, banana plugs on uh, with the option of using an alligator kip if I need to. This way I'll be able to use it on my 12 volt pack or any 12 volt packs that I incorporate banana plugs into. Um, so, oh, I haven't really that tape. Right, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a bit of brown tape. I haven't got any red in the toolbox because being an electrician, they've changed our colours in England to brown and blue uh, instead of red and black. So, I'll chop that off. I'm just going to mark it with a bit of brown tape. I don't suppose it really matters, but in the interest of keeping it the same, snip them off. Uh, let's choose a bit of fairly good size heat shrink. I've got anything small. I oh, might do. Make sure it fits over both of them. Yes, I've done this in the wrong order, haven't I? Right, okay, right. I don't need too much of that. To take this off. This is going to be a long video. I'm not going to bother editing it too much. Oh, this installation took me through really good stuff. Not when it's cold, though. When it's cold, it don't stick. Oh, there we go. Just going to slide that over there to stop it splitting any further. It has got a little bit further down, but it's kind of weirdly, and I can move this up a bit. All right, let's get another bit of brown tape. Just a little bit. Just stick it on there. Magic. Right. Uh, get my wire strippers. Yeah, this video may get cut short because I'm waiting for the gas man uh, to do some bits. Oh yeah. I wonder if I can solder directly into these. Get rid of the screw. Try and get rid of the screw. I should prepare this ready. So if we just slotted it on like that and soldered it right up. I don't know if that'll work, but we'll try that. It's a nice thick copper. I just realised I haven't got much solder with me, so I'll have to, might have to go out to the shed, which means cutting it. Um, I don't really want to put that on there. What can I do? There we go, a bit of broken, a bit of a broken switch. Oh, it went everywhere anyway. My soldering skills are something to be, aren't something to be desired. So, 
slather, slather a bit more on there. And do it. I wonder. Will this heat up enough to mark that in there? I don't think this is going to work. Ow, ow, stupid me. It has, it has actually taken. I wonder if I work a bit more solder around there, whether I can just heat shrink over the top. You're trying to walk away from me. That seems to have done it. Definitely not going anywhere. Um, what heat shrink will fit over one of them? That's gone. That's made an escape. That's too small. <laughs> Stop. Oh, I think that'll do. That one there. Get a red and a black out. I've, uh, I've got a new uh, heat shrink kit from Thailand. £1.86 for, I don't know, it has it on the back, but I've got to turn it over. £150 pieces. Not too bad. Right, okay, so let's cut a bit off of there. Now I haven't got a match or anything to hand, so just attach it to the back of the soldering iron. Too bad, I don't think. I certainly could have done worse. And there we have it. Two banana clips on my 12 volt soldering iron with the option of using alligator or crocodile clips, whatever you want to call them. And I've added a little bit of heat shrink on the outside, so just to give it a little bit more um, protection against shorting out. Anyway, um, yeah, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, comment and rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.